bananas. It's going to keep shifting to a darker yellow green. And as well as the stronger overall color, more concentrated pigment. So I'm getting more of the yellow and more of the blue, making a mix that's much less watery. I think I said as as it gets less as you use more concentrated mixes that aren't as watery it's going to be a little bit trickier to uh, get that line of pooling watery color Just keep at it. See the edges here that, that um, how they're drying because how how it, yeah I guess how they're drying because I didn't let it dry quite all the way. Uh, so for the table now I'm gonna do um, this pretty strong concentrate that's a little too watery. I'm gonna try to get it. A little strong and I'm gonna start bringing in a, a mix of, of violet basically at least that's what I think I put <laughs> yes so um, I'm going to uh, what's the smartest way to show you guys this Let me rinse that color out and mix up some violet over here. This is my quinacridone rose. And I'm going to bring in some ultramarine blue. So basically, I'm going to be bringing in some violet to my quinacridone burnt orange to make it even sort of darker value as well as make it a little less pure or um, desaturate it a little bit and it makes a very nice sort of darker darker brown still a very warm brown though let's see I think those edges are going to be a little bit crisper. And this is a pretty strong mix, but I still I can still go back. Well, I said concentrated strong, but I can still go back and re-wet, bring in reintroduce water and color up to the shape where I've started it and let it keep falling down and keep sort of making the distribution of the watery color consistent throughout that shape. gonna dry
for the last round of the bananas. Just going to keep going to a darker green. And I'll be, um, once again, this is just our kind of study, color study of how we're making our way down the color, around the color wheel and changing hue and temperature and value. Still want it to be a, uh, a yellow green. And I might end up, when I do, the, do this on the painting, having something even darker, but um, I'm gonna go with that for now. And that's just the Hansa yellow light. I think my son's coming. The Hansa yellow light and the peacock blue. Hi, I'm videotaping. That's okay. You want to say hi? <laughs> You'd be famous on YouTube. Yeah. I'm going to um, dry this one a little bit more. Sure, that makes for very exciting viewing. I'm going kind of fast, I know, but do do take your time when you're doing all this. So here, I wanted to show you how first I was mixing the violet first, and then introducing that to this. Um, it doesn't have to go that way. Um, but it's, it makes a little bit more sense. If I just bring in ultramarine blue to the quinacridone burnt orange, um, it gets darker and much cooler. But if I bring in that quinacridone red, what I've done is basically brought in violet. And I wanna keep going a little bit darker So I'm going back and forth between the, uh, the ultramarine blue and the quinacridone rose and the quinacridone burnt orange. Man, that gets a, that's a, oh man, that gets a nice dark earthy red. Ooh, I like that. I must confess. This is not drying so perfectly, but that's okay. So that's those two shapes, two studies. <laughs>